Hi guys, for removing the panels from the XSO 700, what you're gonna need to uh, do first is a coffee, yeah. And after that, you have to remove the seat, obviously. What you're gonna need is to um, um, Allen key. One is number three, one is number four. It's very important that, that you keep the same do not lose the bolts, obviously, but you have number two is two of them keeping this because it's three panels, three different ones. So it's uh, right, left and the top one, obviously. So to remove the, the sides, first you have to, you know, common sense, you remove the, the top one. And like I said, you need iron key number four and number three. And you have two B, two four on the bottom next to the you know where the snorkel from the air filter is coming. So you have these two big ones, and after the same size, you have one, two, and on the back next to the actually you know the <coughs> front suspension or, or, or steering bars uh, or hand bars. Sorry, you have actually two, four, six of these big bigger ones, number four, and then you have. Two, four, six, eight, and ten of the small ones, right? Is basically you lift this one up, then you have another bolt which we're gonna remove this later, and we will see how it looks like. And then you gently, you know, moving little bit, not shaking, do not pull too much because you're gonna break it. You have to lift it, you have to work with this, you know, a little bit bend it and, and, and it will come up. Is you're gonna hear this like kind of like a click and stuff like this. So basically that's it. I'm gonna start removing now. And well, let's see how we're gonna do it after that. And, and yeah, I taking one of these panels to the paint shop to match the color. Some people say it's ra English racing green, but actually when you start searching it's saying that color is uh, forest green, not racing green, not English racing or something like that. It's actually called forest green. That's what is on the website of Yamaha as well. Uh, even if you Google it and, um, and you start searching what kind of color is it, most of the uh, you know information on the internet you're gonna find that it's a forest green but uh, I also get information that Yamaha do not provide with the coats special coats for the for the paint um, normally when you have the VIN number that you know the long number which is for the you know frame uh, in a car is the same like shots uh, number it's called VIN number anyway in this VIN number we have all information basically what is the setup, the model, size, everything is there. It's just absolutely everything, including what, you know, extras you have on a bike or on a car or, or, or colors, everything is there. And if you really go, like normally, if you go to the dealer shop, you will get um, normal information. But apparently Yamaha do not give the information about the colors. So what I'm gonna do, that's why I have to remove the panel because I'm gonna respray it the side. Just one second, sweetheart. And after that, I hope they're gonna match the color. They have kind of like a, you know, devices which is, you know, try to matching the color or we will figure out. I have to find the first the good shop uh, which is mixing the paints and, and doing the lacquers and all this stuff. But let me remove this one. and. We'll So now you have two panels. I removed the top one, and I'm guessing it's not really plastic. To be honest with you, right now when I look at, uh, I tell you it's plastic, but I think it is actually aluminium. Um, what is holding these panels is kind of like a plastic hooks here. So you have uh, how many of them? One, two. I can see so far just two of them and it's one outside one inside i am not sure if you have to press it probably not um it's one single bolt probably four millimeter iron key and here next to the 
handbars you have these pins you know the plastic ones um, when you you have to just click them and they like you know separate when you put them back you just have to press it and it's done it's holding is two of them holding one each panel have one of these pins one of their bolts basically if we remove this one now we should be able to pull out gently like I said you have to work a little bit with this but gently pull out of the fuel tank and hope we are gonna have separate panel I still have to check if it's any more bolts which is holding this panel don't really see it so I'm guessing this is that that's it I remove this bolt one of them I don't need to move this panel only if I'm gonna have to respray it hope you're not gonna screw up that much like I, I did on that side so um, yeah basically right now I just gonna remove this bolt and let's see if I can easily remove that whole thing I'm doing this first time so you know bear with me There we go. Okay. Like I said, you have to a little bit work out, and it's easy. That's the big screw up which I did. I tried to remove the little ring, you know, the Yamaha sign. And after that, sand it, and I sand it too much. But believe it or not, actually the guys was right. It's aluminium. It's not plastic. So easy peasy. <laughs> but look how battered it is. They don't even bother paint this properly. It's just you know spray it a little bit, and here we go. Nobody cares what is under. Okay, is it big relief that it's uh, aluminium? I'm not sure. Uh, I already put like a masking tape. I used to, you know, paint my cafe eraser before. I was thinking to put like a black, nice stripe here. Keep it green, black, green stripe, silver one, and, we, and the top would be black as well. But to be honest with you, I'm not sure if I'm gonna do it. It would be nice if you, this is like a silver as well, a green, silver, and green on the top. But then it's gonna look like a discotheque in 80s, man. So maybe I leave it like it is. But I'm kind of surprised and happy to be honest with you because I can, what I can actually do is easy way to change. You, you just clean this, this whole thing, you brush it, then you're gonna have nice aluminum brush fuel tank, you know? It's cool. But anyway. It's out. I'm happy. It's not that difficult. You can do it if you have an iron key and you know good light as well. So you're not gonna lose all these bolts. You can easily remove this um, uh, fuel tank panels. Really, not that really difficult job. So thanks for watching. Um, I will do another movie when I repaint this 